Hello, Jim Goodwin here with the Bible Church in Indianapolis. I have a devotional for you today from the Word of the Lord. In this time of uncertainty, when things seem to change nearly every day, sometimes more than once a day, I think we all find ourselves looking for some certainty, some reassurance from the Word of the Lord. And there are many verses which tell us not to fear that the Word will be our strength, our shield, a strong tower, and all of those things are true. But the verse that really speaks to me, and one of my personal favorites, is Jeremiah 29 and 11, which says, For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. The NLT says it this way, for I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good, not for disaster, to give you a future and a hope. And I find a great deal of comfort in this verse because there are really four things that the verse tells me. Number one, it tells me that there's a plan. This isn't a surprise to the Lord. He knows exactly what was going to happen, and he was prepared for it, even if I wasn't. There is a plan. I might not know the extent of the plan or all of the details, but I know that there's a plan, and that really provides me some comfort. Number two, the plan is for my good. The Lord says it right there in the scripture. The plans are for good. So I know that even if I don't really see where the good might come from it, the Lord has a plan. Number three, the plan will bring glory to God. Ultimately, the plan will only be something God could do, only something that will bring him glory. So what brings God glory? healings, restoring the sight of the blind, the deaf to hear, the lame to walk. These are the things that glorify the Lord, and all of those are good. So, surely, whatever his plan is, however it brings him glory, will also be good for me as well. Now, the fourth one is that the plan is evidence of, that God is thinking about you. You can't have a plan without putting some thought into it. So if the Lord has a plan, that means he thought about it. He sat down and he figured out who you are, what you need, what will bring him glory, and he created a plan. That means you're on his mind. This is not an accident. You are right where he wants you to be at this moment for your good and his glory. So as we face this uncertain time and we look for some reassurance and some strength from the scripture, I encourage you, take a few minutes, read through Jeremiah 29, 11, and pray about that. Think about that. The Lord has a plan. The plan is for your good. The plan will bring glory to God. And the plan is evidence that God has been thinking about you. How great is it that the Lord of all the universe, creator of heaven and earth, thinks about us. That's all I have for you today. Thank you for listening.